One month passed and this small story is the start of their relationship. They start talking with each other more openly and he don't scold every time like he do before. Jimin start changing. He don't know but he did. In these three months, he changed a lot. He didn't notice himself. Jimin thought she is childish but she is oppressive. She is responsible and took care of him. They are not close romantically but they are used to each other's presence. About Yoon, she started falling in love with him. As he changed his behavior towards her, and with a spark of hope that this relationship would work, Yoon is making breakfast as today is Sunday, and she woke up late. Good morning, she said as she looked at Jimin, who is ruffling his messy hairs. Mm, good morning, mm, Jimin. Yes, mom called me yesterday. She invited us for dinner. Time, he asked as he drank his juice. At 5 p.m. Okay. They both finished their breakfast and Jimin started watching football match on TV and Yoon sat there too using her mobile not interesting in match. Yoon is deciding outfit for herself as she is stuck between two frocks which is knee length. One is black and the other is blue. She wanted to look good as she is going to meet their parents after a month. She frustratedly look at the mirror then an idea pops up in her mind. Why don't I ask him in what color he's going to wear? She put her dress on the back and moved towards his room. And she opened his drawer without knocking as her old habit. But turned around in flash of light when she looked at Jimin who was standing there in his only pajamas, towel on his shoulder as he was about to go for a shower. Jimin looked at her back and smacked. Still don't know how to knock? I'm sorry, she mentally scolded herself for stuttering at Jimin's smack as he heard her stutter. He walked towards her and stand close to her, leaning towards her ear. What happened? It's not your first time. You didn't get fluttered before, so why now? Jimin said and Yun shivered at how close he was. I came here to ask, which color do you want to wear? What do you want me to wear? He is clearly teasing her and she is getting more and more red and his smith getting wider. Black color? Really? If you say so. He said as he moved her hair from her shoulder and her eyes widened. She ran out of the room and he chuckled satisfied that he have this effect on her without doing anything. She is not bitch type girl or completely shy one. She is just a normal girl with the normal emotions. After the time passes, Yoon get ready. Jimin was waiting for her while using his mobile. When Yoon came down and Jimin looked at her, Yoon was wearing black frock which is knee length with light makeup and ponytail. Jimin looked at her up and down shamelessly checking her out and Yoon blushed. Let's go. After that, they reach his parents' house. Her mom greeted them cheerfully. So son, how's your work going? Good dad, he gave short answer to everyone. Then Mr. Park looked at Yoon who is silently eating. Daughter, how is to be Jimin's secretary? Yoon looked at his dad and then her left side. Jimin and Yoon eyes met and they both look away. Jimin know if she said how he treated her back then his father would know what he will do. Dad, it's good. I got to learn about so many things. Tell me if you do something. I will teach him lesson then. Okay dad. She Yoon smiled softly and Jimin gulped. After that, they talk about many things. After some time, they were sitting in a large talking about many things, laughing, and first time Yun saw Jimin natural smile. And if you ask her, his smile is addicting. But her bad luck, she falls for a guy who only sees her as his secretary. Only if she knows that he not only sees her as his secretary anymore. Sometimes she thought that she is only fulfilling her duties, and the bond husband and wife have, they don't share that. Yes, he changed, but still they are not close with each other. Yun sighed. So, son, what's your future planning? 
work more and grow company i'm not talking about your work i'm talking about you both when you are going to give us grandchildren you and chop and her coffee and jimin eyes widen you okay honey jimin pat her back where is your manners jimin hesitantly patted her back he knows she is feeling embarrassed their parents don't know that they still live in separate rooms dad is late already we should leave now why don't you stay here for tonight mom you know i have office tomorrow Oh son, don't be so workaholic. Give time to your wife and parents. You came here after months. It's just two months, Dad. No, Dad. Yun is going to clear all your schedule for tomorrow, right, daughter? Okay, Dad. Jim is right. As you know, he can't even argue with his parents. At night, they both walked towards their room together. Jim was showering when Yun was sitting aimlessly. She don't have any clothes in this house. Jim and have his clothes here too. Jimin came out of shower drying his hair with towel when he looked at Yun who is staring nowhere. Are you planning to sit there all night? Yun looked at him with a boring expression. I don't have clothes to wear. Jimin walked towards his closet and came back with a t-shirt and trousers. Here, you can wear mine. No, no, it's okay. Okay, as you wish if you want to sleep in this uncomfortable dress. Jimin said and turned around but Yun stopped him. Wait, Jimin is make but turned around. And he put a serious face and he turned around raising his eyebrow. Yun took Clothes from his hand and moved towards the bathroom. After shower, she changed her clothes. She came back. Jimin was still using his mobile. Yun walked towards the bed and picked up the pillow. Where are you going? To the sofa. Jimin remained silent. Yun Pei Yun was going to Yun pick her pillow and was going to turn around when he spoke again. You can sleep on bed if you want. Then where are you going to sleep? Here, of course. You mean you? I mean the same bed. Yun asked confused if she heard him wrong and Jimin smirked again. Is there any problem? Aren't we husband and wife? Yun looked at him shocked. This is the first time he said that they are husband and wife. Are you were thinking something else? No, I'm not. She said placing her pillow back. She lay down keeping her distance from him. And he smiled. He put his mobile on side table and lay down too. Yun woke up from her sleep next to Jimin. She looked at his sleeping figure and smiled. Maybe giving him chance is worth it. She thought she would marry someone whom she loved, but she got this in this situation. But maybe they can work this relationship out. She stood from her bed and doing her daily routine, she moved out of the room. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, mom. Did you sleep well? Yes, mom. Let me help you. No, I will do it. Mom, I insist. Oh, you're so sweet, Yun. You know, Jivan is so lucky to have you. Yun smiled but didn't say anything. You are so strong managing house, office, and my pretty son too. Mrs. Park said and she laughed lightly and Yun smiled too but it soon faded when Yun looked behind his mother. There he was standing with his raised eyebrow. Yun gulped and started what she was doing. After eating, Yun and Jimin left. They have meeting to attend. That was important once. So first they go to their room and change their clothes and reach the office at 10 p.m. After meeting, Jimin was sitting in his office and doing work when someone barked in and he exactly know who it is. Yeah, Chenggu, yeah. Hey, Yung, how come you visit with me today? You forgot me after your writing, so I thought why not I visit you? He said as they helped each other and Jimin sat down on chair. Young is not like that, you know how office work. Yeah, yeah, don't cover it up. I know your wife is more important than me. You know him, my relationship with my wife. Jimin said, and Jim looked at him confused. What happened? You know how we are living together. Everyone thinks that we are perfect couple, but we are not. You think she is still childish? No, she is not. Instead, she is very responsible and took care of me. But still, it's like we are fulfilling our duties. I mean, she is doing it. We don't usually have a normal conversation. We still sleep in different rooms. You sleep in different rooms? Yes, Hyun, we sleep in different rooms, you know. Even yesterday, mom and dad asked for grandchildren. And how can you and how can you make babies in different rooms? Hyun, be serious. Okay, okay, don't get mad. Tell me, do you love her? I don't know. Hyun, I really don't know, but you can say I'm used to her parents. But you know, Hyun, I can't trust anyone easily. Not every girl is same. You need to give her a chance. Trust her. She is you, not Sarah. Don't take her name in front of me. 
a knock on the door interrupted them and Yun entered without even hearing his yes. All habits don't grow. Sir Yu, I'm sorry, I don't know you were with someone. Yun bowed apologizingly towards them but Jin stopped her. You are Yun, right? Jin saw her only on wedding day so he needs to confirm them before he says something. Yes, you are pretty. Jin winked at her and Yun looked at him awkwardly. Thank you. And she left her little from there. Jin turned towards Simon and his smile faded as he looked at his face. What was that? What? You were clearly flirting with her. So what are you jealous? I'm not jealous. He was jealous but he was trying to cover it up. Really? You were saying you don't love your wife? I don't say I said I don't know if I love her or not. But your eyes say otherwise. What do you mean? I think you will find out when you need to. Hurry, don't waste your chance. She is nice. So if you don't get along with her, can I have a chance? Jin asked with a little smirk and Jim looked at him dead serious. I asked for a relationship advice, not you to flirt with what's mine. He said the last word a little louder and Jim looked at him. Well, I was clearly messing with you. You are so jealous. Accept it. But hey, how dare you raise your voice on me? He said, getting a little offended, and Jen took a deep breath. I'm sorry, him. Wait, did you just say sorry? Yes, why? Are Jimin saying sorry for the first time? What did your wife do to you? Him, that's enough. Jen laughed, and Jim then shook his head. The boy discussed more things. Finally, the day was over, Yun packed her things and moved towards his office. Jimin, I want to buy some things from market. Jimin didn't look at her and just nodded. You can go, I will come later. I have work to complete. Okay, I will take the cab then. Yun looked disappointed but she just nodded and left from there. She knew he would never come with her. She stood outside as she waited for cab but instead a car stopped in front of her. Yun? Dehyun? He smiled as he came out of the car and Yun hugged him tightly. Yeah, Yun, you will break my bones. Yun giggled as she looked at him. What are you doing here? Wait, where were you all these months? Calm down, I will tell you everything. You better tell me why you disappeared suddenly. You want to ask everything here? Now let's go to the cafe. They both smiled and agreed to left in the car. After refusing her, when she said she is going to take a cab, I felt bad for her. Jin Hyung would scream in my mind that I should take steps in the relationship, and I grabbed my cord and keys and left the office. A small smile appeared on my lips as I thought how she would be happy and surprised when I would go to her. As he reached outside, he stopped as he looked at Yoon, who is hugging a guy with a huge smile on her face which she never showed him. No, Jimin chase Yoon, you can trust her, she is not Sarah. They both left in the car and Jimin heart started beating faster. And he followed them behind. They entered the cafe and looked like a couple. The boy was young age and they were laughing. I stayed there looking at them. Flashback of her Sarah cheating on me come in my mind. No, please not her too. He is shaking and his patience ended when he held her hand. He clenched his fist tightly and dropped from there, not wanting to see he already seen enough. His eyes burned with anger like he completely losing his sense. So that's what happened. I hope your love story starts soon. I hope so. Enough about me. Tell me what about you and your girlfriend. Leah and me doing great. I still can't leave you with your high school crush. You look cute together. We do, by the way. You're engaged. You look at him with wide eyes. Why? What? Didn't you tell me? Yeah, Yun. Can I tell you when we meet today? I want to meet her too. Don't worry, you will meet her in the wedding. Who's wedding? Mine, of course. What? And it's after two months. No way you call yourself my best friend and all this happened you didn't tell me. She pinched him and he held her both hands as she stopped using her hands. Don't worry, I will invite you in the wedding. I will kill you if you didn't. If you kill me, then who will be the groom? He laughed at his dead humor. Let's go, it's already late. I need to buy things. I will come with you. Sure, if you want, I need company anyway. She said she wanted to come with Jimin but he was busy, so why not? With her best friend, they have what to catch up anyway. At 9 p.m. when finally reached her room, they had dropped her at home. So this is your home. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It is, and don't forget what I tell you. 
Yun Deagle, he gave her advice how to make place in man's heart and she know it's not going to work on Jimin. So she just laugh it is what already ridiculous dubs. They hugged each other and turned kiss her cheeks and Yun smacked his head they both laughed together and someone saw it all with his virgin eyes. Yun entered in the house looking at all the lights off. Did you enjoy your date? Yun flinched and she opened the lights and saw Jimin sitting on the sofa while a glass of whiskey on his hand as he took the sip. Jimin, I told you a thousand times not to scare me like this. She said and Jimin raised his eyebrows to her drinking. Why are you scared? Did I caught you red-handed? What? You didn't tell me how was your date. He said cutting her off. She looked at him confused. What date, Jimin? I told you I was going to the mall. With whom? What do you mean? Okay, let's ask simply. Who was by with you? Why? Oh, you are asking about Dane? Whatever, who was he? You look both cute together, by the way. He's my friend, Jimin. Friend or bad friend? Yun flit at his sudden raised voice and he threw the glass on the floor. The flashbacks of how her girl friend cheated on her clouding his mind. The nightmare he always get every night and he played her to tell her that was all the lie she didn't cheat her on him. The day he was begging and no words came out, he loved her so much that he can't even raise his voice on her and he completely lost his senses like he's back to that two years ago. Jimmy, listen. Shut up. I saw it with my own eyes, Yun. I know I can't trust girls like you are or same. Always behind my money. You need many men to satisfy his curse. His word curse of bad heart step on his right cheek. Yes, Yun slapped him so hard that it equaled. Shut up, Jimin. Just shut up. I can't take your shirts anymore. Just stop your fucking mouth. Tears streamed down her cheeks continuously without her concern and Jimin looked at her. He stunned to speak anything. He came back to his senses. He was my best friend. We met today after a long time. That's why we are together. Unlike you, refuse to come with me. And you know what? He's getting married in two months. But why I'm telling you all this? You don't believe me nor does ever listen to me? I was forced in this marriage too. I sacrificed my dream to become a perfect wife. I thought you would change, but you will never change. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself that I fall for someone like you. Her voice became lower or lower as she looked at the man in front of him. Not having enough courage to speak anymore, her head spinning and she took her step towards her room and left him there all guilty. He couldn't speak anything. He lost control on himself again. He let that accident again taking his up mine. He wanted to take a step in this relationship but he messed up again and this time he messed up a big time. Yun closed her door and broke down her back press with the door not caring how loud she is crying. Jimin can hear her loud cries even down there but he didn't move a muscle and he stayed on the floor. Yun woke up with her headache at it could burst any time. She looked around her surroundings. She slept there. She stood up and took the shower. She packed her stuff not wanting to stay anymore here. She had enough of him, so she dragged her luggage down, making noise at the suitcase. Head up stairs, Jimin woke up from sudden noise. He looked at the direction he was still on the floor too. His eyes red and puffy and empty bottle of whiskey. He looks at Yun and panic. Yun, where are you going? Yun didn't answer nor look at him and walked towards the front door. He grabbed her wrist midway. Yun, please. I'm leaving you. Isn't it that you wanted from the day one? So finally I'm going. You were right, Jimin, when you said this relationship is not going to work. But me, being stubborn, trying to stay with a man who don't even see me as a wife, she said and Jimin tears continuously ran down his cheeks. Please, I'm sorry. For how many times you want to apologize? Every time you do something, I would forgive you. But not now. You cross all the mess, Jimin. I'm not going to stay here just like you wanted. Her tears falling down her puffy eyes and red face from all the screamings. Jimin had down still holding her hand. Jimin wiped her tears and yanked his head and moved towards the door. No, she can't leave him. Like this, she need to stay. Jimin can't live without her. She, she holds the door now. But Jimin ran towards her as he grabbed her, turning her around. He slammed his lips on her. Yun eyes widened as she processed what happened. Yun pushed him as she looked at him. What the hell are you doing? She said, almost losing her temper again. I love you. Okay, I love you. Park Yun, don't leave me. Please, don't leave me. As she did, I can't lose you. No, I can't, please. Yun looked at him sharp as she shook her head, tears betraying her ears again. As she turned around, Jimin grabbed her hand tightly in his both hands and pleaded her. Slap me, hit me all you want, don't talk to me, but please, don't leave this house, don't leave me. He dropped down in his knees, 
in front of her as she look at him numb. She has not called her to like him. She can't see someone begging like this and her husband begging her not to leave him. But didn't he is the one who wanted to leave him? In gazes at Jim and Corley at the both sat on the sofa on different sofas him and had down low not having enough courage to look at her and but he found this book i love sara i loved her deeply we were so happy i even decided to propose her but one day i caught her cheating on me she was behind my money i begged her to stay i begged her to tell me that this is all lie but she left me the day i lost my trust in everyone it took me two years to move on and then my mom finally arranged my marriage with your sister and she ran away that's why i did so well until towards you and then I saw you, the boy. You look so happy, happy that you never looked with me. And I know I never treated you good. Not all the girls are same. All the things happened to you, but didn't give you right to accuse anyone. I know, and I'm sorry. I really can't. Please, I love you. You don't. You finally look at her cold face as she said that. You, if you love me, you would trust me and respect me. But you didn't. She sighed and started from sofa, and Jimin panic began. You, please, I will change myself. Please, just don't leave me. Okay, if that's what you want, I will not leave this house. But I won't forgive you this time easily. You want my forgiveness? Then prove it. Prove it that you worth it. If you love me, then prove it that you worth it. If you love me, then prove it. Not with your actions, with your action. She said and left him all that alone. After that, they rolls. Sweet Jimin becomes sweet and caring, and Yun becomes cold only towards him. After that, they Jimin woke up before her and made breakfast for them. Yun was shocked, but didn't say anything and just eat. breakfast Jimin was ready to try everything even if that involved that he need to wake up daily even if he slept late at night he started to come back to his previous self as he was and he was happy to her ago he came to her with different gifts and small card written i'm sorry he even asked her to go on a date but she refused him because that day she was going with Dan for him he is wedding shopping and Dan only wanted her to select his clothes and Jimin knew he deserved this he deserved her cold behavior and he started to realize how that must her hurt her and he didn't say anything and it's just a start he arranged moving nights for them and sometimes refused him and sometimes gave him at the mid